Okay, today I've got a fantastic nugget for small business people, either when you're starting out, you might be uh, starting to grow in your business, but I've got something for you today that uh, I think is very valuable. First thing though, women's intuition, is it real? Most likely it is, here we go, straight to Google. Something out of the New York Post, something Carrie Bradshaw I'm sure would be um, proud of. Science has finally proven what we have long thought women are better than men at reading people's emotions and women can pull off this magic trick just by looking into people's eyes. So there you go, it's alive and well folks, women's intuition. So that'll become important a little bit later on in this video. What I want to talk about today, apart from intuition, is what are those key ingredients that are off, you need off the scale to make it in small business or make it really big? And I'd like to think I'm an authority on this subject because we've got a, a few clients at the firm who are multi-millionaires. So they're not, not just a pissy little million or two, multi-millionaires. These people have started something from absolute scratch, gone through all the pain of small business. And I'll go through five things for you which those people have got off the scale. The first thing they have is something similar to women's intuition. They have got emotional intelligence which is absolutely off the scale from a people perspective. So some of them, are, most of them have very high IQ but not all of them, but their EQ, their emotional intelligence is off the scale. So it's similar to women's intuition. Understanding people um, in business situations, people situations, suppliers, uh, their own people, they have got it off the scale. So if your EQ is off the scale, you're a chance to be a multi. The second thing is they understand value and they understand value at the micro, micro level of their business, whether that's a product or service at that particular product, and they also understand value as that product sits in their whole business. I'll give you a quick example. This wallet here. The people off the scale in small business know that that wallet, they know the cost of that wallet, the expenses on the wallet, the sales, and so they know the bottom line of just that wallet and that value more than anyone else in their industry. And they know how that fits into their whole product mix and the final value of their organization. It's an intuition to understand that. The third thing that these people off the scale in small business know, and that is that they pay everything on time. Sounds simple, doesn't it? Sounds really easy, pay everything on time. But what do the massive companies do? Think of the big banks, the big super funds, they'll hold on to money and hold it as long as they can, keep it on the money markets and make more money. Really big companies work that. Some very small companies and sort of average small business people hold their suppliers out. Um, they work that side of the business and it is a waste of time. Our biggest and best clients pay everything on time because it's efficient and they don't have to think about it. The fourth thing that uh, our biggest clients do well in small business and they're off the charts on is they just accept tax payments. Tax is an expense. Obviously at Paris Financial we minimise it legally and we think we're good at it, uh, but our biggest clients know it's there, they pay it and they don't even think about it. The final thing about our fantastic small business clients who've grown into multi-millionaires is that they're actually good people. You wouldn't believe that, would you? They're very good people. Because these days, if you're an average person, or certainly if you're a bad person, you can't make it really big in business. They're good people. They look after their people. They um, when they negotiate, they're very good with um, suppliers and customers and all those sorts of things. Yes, they're business people, but they're good people. So if there's one main thing though, of those five key things, and here they are. So of these five key things to growing into a massive business from a small business, it's understanding value. That's right, folks, of those five things, understanding value 
is the key one that you can have an impression on. You've either got the emotional intelligence, everyone can pay things on time, you've got to accept tax, and you can't do much about whether you're a good person or not so good, okay? So understand value before you go into a business. Where are you at the moment? Because the multis, they absolutely understand value. Business intuition or BI is not bullshit, it's not BS. Business intuition is real. And these five things you need to be off the scale and understand if you're gonna be like some of the best entrepreneurs around.